You aren't what I was expecting. Maybe the same could be said for me. If you came here looking for the old man, well... Do you have the book? Do you know what that is? The word of Joseph. His teachings, his guidance, his wisdom... ...and his madness. I have searched everywhere for this book. Joseph said the one who found it would be ordained by God... ...to be the true ruler of Eden. And you are the one who returns it to us. It should have been me. I'm the one they turned to when he disappeared into the north. I'm the one who has held this family together. I'm the one they chose to lead. I have protected them from the locusts and the snakes. I have kept us all alive and safe within these walls. Not the old man, me! My father wanted to build a paradise, but when it got too hard, he ran away. You came here looking for his help, but Joseph is dead. No one wants to acknowledge this, but it's the truth. Our family still believes in him, and they'll never stop believing in him until they understand that he was not a messiah, he was just a man. Help me show them. Bring back proof of his death, and I'll help your people. But New Eden will not allow you to travel north until you prove yourself worthy by lighting the flame of Eden. The people know this, Mark. And they will lead you to the flame. A non-believer is a sinner. A non-believer does not know our ways. A non-believer has relit our most sacred flame. We need Joseph. He cleanses our sins. Father will absolve the sinner. Send the sinner to the north. Family of New Eden, you have searched your hearts and truly believe that this sinner should seek our father? Yes. It is certain. Father shows mercy to sinners. After all, we are all his children. Prepare the sacrament. Yes. Prepare the sacrament. Prepare the sacrament. Bring the sacrament. Give them the drink. The Father guides us in this moment. Make them drink, please. The sinner is granted pilgrimage north. They will bring back the Father. <laughs> Praise be to Joseph. Amen. 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 This will allow you to cross the threshold and live. Bring back proof of his death. They will at last understand I am their prophet, and I'll give you the help you need. We both get what we want. We will show you the way. Listen well. Joseph has a sanctuary far to the north. Ritual demands you light signal fires along the way. I doubt the old man is alive to even see them, but if you don't light the fires, it will be the death of you. Because despite the sacrament, the north can still kill you. This boat and the fire are your best means of safe, swift passage. Stray from them only when it's absolutely necessary. There's a bow there for you. Use fire arrows to light the signals. Bring me proof of my father's death. 
and I will make sure you are remembered as a friend of the Prophet. Go now, with my blessing. I did everything that I was asked. I sacrificed myself, my family. I led us into the new world. I thought that it would be glorious. I was wrong. I have waited so long for someone to come. I've begun to despair. I have seen your face before. God showed it to me in a dream. I knew you would be the one to come and make things right. Exactly the way they're supposed to be. I knew that you would bring salvation. You've come seeking help. I can't give you any, only God can. But He has a plan for you. Come, walk with me. This is the help that you've been seeking. God's gift to us. That which sustained my family through the darkest time. First time that I partook of this gift, I was confronted by a ravenous beast. It was my soul. And in that moment, I knew that in order to be worthy of God's gift, I had to slay that beast. I had to cleanse my soul. Because if I did not, I knew that that beast would consume me. This is God's test. And your soul. Go and kill the beast. I can return from my exile. Our miracle allowed us to survive, but its gifts are not unconditional. It nourishes what is in a person's soul. But if that soul is corrupt, the miracle extracts a terrible price. Unleash 
coursing through you. who must not be allowed to partake of this miracle. Even if I love them. Even if they are of my family. Sin is a beast we cannot be. Our future depends on adherence to my strictures. We can no longer hope for Joseph to save us. He is not coming back. We must put him out of our minds and... and... Father. Ethan. Father? The father. Where have you been? Our land is under siege, our people threatened. You disappeared. You left us when we needed you most. Why? To hear God's plan, my son. To hear God's plan. My children! I know that you have suffered. And I know that you are afraid. I've been gone from you for a very long time. But you were not abandoned. God spoke to me, and he has shown me a path out of this darkness. We will no longer hide behind these walls. We will no longer simply hope that this plague of locusts leaves us in peace. The time to fight is now. God has sent us his sword. Here! God has tested their soul, and it is just, and it is pure. And I stand here before you to bear witness that this outsider is our shepherd. Father! And together, we will battle against the hordes outside our gates, and together we will march towards the future that God has promised us. No! You abandoned me. You abandoned us. Without a word, without instructions, leaving me to lead as best I could. And now, now, you return. As if descended from the clouds and presumed to lead? Yes. I am the leader here. Joseph is our leader. New Eden follows me! We stand behind the Father. Son, I know you've carried a heavy burden in my absence. I understand that. This is God's will. And sometimes we must sacrifice that which we want in order to honor God's command. What have you ever sacrificed? Someday you will see the light. I promise. Come, let us all go together. We have much work to do.